there. Can you help me? Nora, please, I need to speak with you. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the Liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see? Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. on the way out. And some blood. Looks like they cut themselves on the splinters. Drops of blood leading the way. These aren't goods, they're necessities. Don't up before you're on the road. I've got all the best goods here. Don't pass up these goods. Check out these wares. More blood. I'm still on the trail. Let your guard down. These Still more blood. The thief got cut for trailings here. But someone must have seen the thief. Fine goods for a fair price. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Don't forget to stock up before you're on the road. Another woman in the Hunter's Lodge. How many do they need? If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. Not enough to vandalize. We should take it down. No sign of a thief. The priest Someone must have seen him go by. Must be Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. A bustling day. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. These aren't goods, they're necessities. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. 
I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it! Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. I'd steal a moment like this every day. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them. Of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. Mm. I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. There are no shadows under the noonday sun. Words to live by. A fork. This must be where Nassan was supposed to check in. It looks like there was a scuffle here, but no body. Someone dragged us on off. There should be tracks. Oh, here we are. Let's see where they went. I'm not far from Red Ridge Pass. Maybe I should meet up with Aaron. Shadow Karja outpost. Let's hope Nassan is inside.
Wait, who went down? Get over here! She's coming! Looks like I'm clear. company look alive no sleeping on the job Thank you. 
got Nassan, all right. He needs help. Let's try this again. I'll keep it simple since you're obviously feeble. What were you doing out by the fork? It was a picnic. With your mother. I think he's trying to hurt your feelings. Won't work. My mother loves a good picnic. Be that as it may, we're not getting anywhere. That's all right. I don't mind breaking a few of his bones. How many do you think we'll have to crack to make him squeal? Hmm, he's got spirit. Might take seven. All right. I'm taking wagers. Hmm? Got a live one! I missed! to leave something else behind. Kinjeev sent me. Let's get you out of here. I thought that old salt had abandoned me. <laughs> Guess I owe him a slap on the back. Come on, this way. Find a use for you. Kindiv told me about the cause. Did you lose the shipment? No. It's hidden nearby. There's a lot of hungry people in Sunfall that will be happy to see it. Good. Now, listen. When you head back to Meridian, talk to a noble named Ravon. If you're honest with him, I think he'll help. Beg a high blood for help? But after everything you've done, I can't refuse. But for now, I'm bound for Sunfall. Be safe. A man named Nassan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find the flame.